Eagle Community Television presents Community Connection with your host, Mike Cooper. Hello and welcome again to Community Connection from Eagle Community Television. Thanks for watching and thanks to our producer, Jeff Durall. We're in the offices of the president of Fort Hayes State University, Dr. Mirta Martin, for our monthly visit. And incidentally, by the way, um, this is interview and visit, not with you, but uh, as far as our community connection, number 200. Wow. So we've reached a milestone. We and have indeed. What better way to spend it than with the president of Fort Hay State University? Well, Thank you I am for joining us. Very honored that I am the 200th. <laughs> we keep making history together. What we wonderful do things. Indeed, absolutely. First, I've got to ask you, uh, Mirta, about your first Oktoberfest homecoming. Give us your impressions. Even though the weather didn't cooperate for Oktoberfest, <laughs> probably one of the worst we've had. Talk about Oktoberfest homecoming from your perspective. You know, I, I, the first thing I was going to say was, it was damp, and it was frigid. <laughs> right. um, and it was, but I don't think there was uh, any dampness in the spirit of, of Oktoberfest. I, I thought it was a wonderful, wonderful reminder of the importance of community. And it was an incredible visual representation of the impact that community have upon each other when people work together. You know, throughout the day after, after we tap the keg, um, and I visited with you after the fact, mm -hmm. I, I came back and I walked across the community, uh, booths that had been set up, and invariably what I heard was, we didn't know whether we were going to be able to pull this off, but the Fort Hayes people came in and they helped us set this up and they put up this tent and they did the other one. And I thought, you know, that's what family is about. And, you know, and you and I have spoken about family since you and I first started to visit with each mm -hmm. other. And each and every day, I am so thankful to see the importance of family and the importance that family have in our community, not just at Fort Hayes, but in our community. And you notice that family issue come forth again on a beautiful homecoming day uh, the yes. day after. It was, and um, you know, it's the entire weekend was just a magical weekend. I think we all have situations, we all, all have events in our, in our minds that you remember what you were doing at this day and time. Mm -hmm. um, I've spoken to people that say, I remember what I was doing when JFK got shot, or I remember what I was doing when 9-11. I will remember Oktoberfest 2014 at Fort Hayes State University all the days of my life because, you know, as we spoke, the day started with a beautiful gift um, from incredible human beings, uh, Don and Chris Bickle, who gave us a million dollars for our athletic uh, department. Um, they, in addition to so many others, uh, the Stenos, the Schmitz, I, I mean there, there's a myriad of people that I could sit here and talk about that belief in what we do at Fort Hay State mm -hmm. and belief in investing in the next generation of leaders. Uh, and, and so we started that morning with the announcement that they had of their generosity. And that's important because as we uh, have spoken our students today, which is one of the reasons that I came at, to Fort Hay State, I identify with these kids, with these students. Regrettably, and I mean regrettably, they're doing today what I was doing 30 years ago. And that's working full-time jobs, going to school full-time, sometimes raising a family, sometimes playing sport, sometimes being on the band, sometimes being in the theater, sometimes being in the chorale, and in the choir. And, and that's an opportunity cost to do this over that. You know, and, and those gifts of, of the members of the community that think enough of our students make a difference. And, and I always say to the community, first of all, thank you. And, and certainly we'll, we'll, we'll be happy to receive the million dollar gifts and the $10 million gifts and the $30 million gifts, but we're just as thankful 
for the $10 gift or for the $100 gift because in the aggregate, it makes a difference. You know, $100 may not seem much for, to somebody, but $100 can buy two or three books for a student. Mm -hmm. And $100 means that that student doesn't have to work, you know, those 10 extra hours mm -hmm. a week to earn that money and can spend it in study. So we started the morning with that. And then subsequent to that, of course, we, we had the October Fest. And, and that was a wonderful uh, day. And what was neat about it was the fact that I actually understood about 70, 80 percent of what was said in German. I was going to say, you understood a lot more than <laughs> most know? of us did. And that was great. You know, I called John and, I, and, and he was standing in, in, the, uh, in the public and, I, and he looked at me and he said, so that you get it? And I went, yes, I actually understood some <laughs> right. of it. And then, of course, we followed with uh, Gary and I dancing the polka. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and, and that was really neat. And then, of course, like I said, that afternoon I came back and I visited. Um, we, we, as you know, were unable to have the bonfire that evening mm -hmm. because it was raining. But, you know, again, the family came forth mm -hmm. and everybody pitched in. And so we had the pep rally here mm -hmm. at, in the auditorium. And I think in many ways it was actually, other than the fact we didn't have a fire, mm -hmm. um, thankfully, <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it was really great because in bringing the community into the auditorium, in bringing the students into the auditorium, in bringing the athletes into the auditorium, in bringing the band into the auditorium, it resonated. Mm -hmm. That spirit, that energy just permeated the halls. Mm -hmm. And actually people were saying to me afterwards, that was really neat. And mm -hmm. I thought, well, maybe next year what we'll do is we'll have the pep rally inside so everybody can get really vitalized, mm -hmm. and then we'll all walk over to the field mm -hmm. and have the bonfire. Mm -hmm. You know, new beginnings, who knows? Uh, who new knows? ways of doing things. So then, of course, the next day, again, another momentous occasion when the two bright stars of Kansas aligned themselves on our campus uh, in front of one building, and that was Senator Bob Dole and, and Egg Hammond, and of course, Mrs. Dole, who joined them, and we were very thankful. Uh, to commemorate and to dedicate, as you know, uh, the Dole Sisters Lobby and Hammond Hall. A and to have these individuals surround us and, and to have that gift that they brought to us. Um, Dr. Hammond's almost 30 years of visionary leadership for this campus and Bob Dole's visionary leadership for our country, for our state. Uh, it was probably one of the most memorable times in my life. Followed, of course, by the parade where actually <laughs> Senator and Mrs. Dole were our grand marshals and they were so kind and so so generous and, and people remarked after the fact that they took time to take pictures, to shake hands. Um, the genuineness just came across. And then, of course, for John and me, being able to be surrounded by these bodyguards <laughs> as we walked down Main Street um, was a very, very wonderful experience, culminating, of course, in, in homecoming, the crowning of our queen and king. And, um, and regrettably, of course, we, we didn't win, but I was, as I've always said, I was very proud of our students. Um, our athletes behaved as good men of character. And at the end of the day, that's at Fort Hayes, what we strive to do is to educate good, strong men and women mm -hmm. of good, strong character to go out into the world. More uh, first times are coming, including your media tour yes. that uh, you're going to be, I uh, assume, joined by uh, uh, the President Emeritus now, as he's yes. known. I looked that up, by the way, and that means big deal <laughs> in Latin. Absolutely. So, you know. <laughs> big stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you're going to be making your media tour to yes. get the word out again, as is the usual case to yes, what wonderful opportunities Fort Hayes presents. I, and the message is going to be the same. We have been forward thinking and we're ready. We're superbly positioned to be the destination of choice because of our programs of distinction and our people of excellence. Mm -hmm. And Kansas needs to know that this is the place where the bright minds are. Mm -hmm. 
not just our student, not just our faculty, not just our staff, but our community. Mm -hmm. There's, it's a magical place where there's a synergy, a nurturing. It's a place where parents can entrust to us their most precious possessions. And this is where we will nurture them. This is where we will educate them to become the leaders of the 21st century, to take their rightful place among the leadership of Kansas and of this great country of ours. One of those uh, uh, trips, in addition to the uh, trip uh, to meet the media, if you will, will be the China trip. Yes. You're going to continue the uh, exploration in China. Then. We are. Talk about that. Well, you know, the Chinese people are an incredibly uh, ceremonial <clears throat> people. Mm -hmm. Lots of heritage, lots of tradition. So this trip is, is takes place during the International Cultural Friendship Week, I believe it's what it's called. And will be a ceremonial passing of the baton mm. from the pressing big stuff <laughs> to the current <laughs> president. Um, and, and so I'm very, very thankful to be going uh, with him. We'll also be accompanied by our Associate Provost for Strategic Partnerships, uh, Cindy Elliott. Um, who is an expert in, in, in the China uh, market. And meeting our partners, meeting our students, meeting our prospective students, uh, meeting our faculty mm -hmm. who dedicate much of their life out there. And I, and I want to say to them firsthand, thank you. Because it is a sacrifice to leave behind your country, your family, your friends, because they believe in imparting a little bit of the American educational system into the mind of a country that is so very large. Mm -hmm. So I'm very thankful to them. And of course, during that trip, we'll begin and we'll continue to explore opportunities that are available in China to continue to expand our footprint in the world. President Martin, we have a couple of minutes left and I want to give you an opportunity to make a personal invitation to the community to join you Friday, November 21st, 10 a.m., Gross Memorial Coliseum for your official inauguration. Thank you, and, and I do wish to say to the community, this, uh, this is our inauguration. This is our new beginnings. This is a time that is for us to be together as family. Uh, our students, our faculty, our staff, I'd like to make sure that they're all there, but also members of the extended family of Fort Hayes State University, which is our community. This inauguration would not be the same if the family will not be together. And so I want the entire family of Fort State University to join me in our new beginnings. And we hope that members of the Martin family will be a part of that too. Absolutely. My children will be coming. My husband will be coming. And if God allows it so, I am actually beginning to hope and to believe that this might be, might be the first time in over 47 years that my brothers, sisters, father, mother, husband, two children, and me will be together in the same place oh, at the same time. Marvelous. So, and you know, we have dignitaries coming from all over the United States. I'm very mm -hmm. thankful to them. Uh, presidents uh, for, for senior institutions from mm -hmm. the United States. We have many of our legislators that are coming, our mm -hmm. governor. Um, we have um, uh, members of families of my other lives <laughs> uh, that are coming, that are making the trip to celebrate these new beginnings. And so, again, I invite the family of Fort Hay State University, the entire family, the entire community, to join me as we celebrate family, because that's what it is all about. At the end of the day, there's no place like home. President Myrta Martin, Fort Hayes State University, our community connection. Thanks for watching. Thank you.